Good morning, or actually, it's 12.50, so afternoon. Uh, today is Saturday, the 23rd of June, and we are 12 weeks out tomorrow from show day. Work it, make it, do it, makes us harder, better, faster, stronger. Net, 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 that, that, that don't kill me, can only make us stronger. I need you to hurry up, man. Honestly, I can't believe how fast like the last 12 weeks has gone. I'm like, so we're like exactly halfway. So the week, the prep that I'm on has been, is 24 weeks. So I have completed 12 weeks and it's literally like, I feel like I've blinked and the 12 weeks have just like gone, which I guess is good. Um, but at the same time, it's, it's like crazy. So I guess I'll blink again and next thing I know it'll be, it'll be show day, but yeah, I'm really, I'm really, I'm really excited, really happy um, with how things are going, I guess. Um, we did have a little bit of a plateau and then I feel this week it's kind of picked up a bit more doing more cardio. My macros have dropped and that kind of thing. I'm on four 30 minute cardio sessions a week. Ouch. <laughs> but yeah, um, so I am going to go and pick up my friends um because we're gonna go play uh some crazy golf um but it's a saturday so we'll see it might be quite busy hopefully we can get in but anyway so i'm gonna go pick up my friends and i have a rather interesting challenge that i'm gonna see if i can set myself for this prep and i'm gonna i'm gonna release what the challenge is in front of my friends because you'll see why you'll see why so i'll see you in the next clip where i'm gonna where i'm gonna say what the challenge is oh. so cool. okay so i already told these are my friends by the way what so introduce yourself i'm simone official I'm bff <laughs> I'm Erica, it's my sister. And uh, so I told YouTube before I came out here that I'm, I'm setting myself a challenge and I'm gonna reveal the challenge in front of you guys because I think that you're really gonna like it. And basically, so Simone and Erica are both vegans and I really like meat, but the more and more that I hang out with them, I do get more like intrigued by it. So, I'm actually setting myself the challenge. There's gonna be one day next week I'm gonna try and go vegan for the whole day and do a full day of eating as a vegan on prep. So we'll see how Love it, it goes. We'll see how it goes. Love it. So I'm gonna get I'm gonna get loads of tips off these guys about what to eat. Hells yeah. That's not meat. <laughs> vegan fam. Yeah. Um so yeah, that that's what this vlog's gonna be. It's gonna be a day of vegan eating on prep. So sick. See if I can fit in my macros. So yeah. Good morning. Today is Wednesday, the twenty seventh of June. Um, so today I am doing my full day of vegan eating, um, and today I'm going to Thought Park with my two friends that you saw um, in the last clip. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd do my full day of vegan eating while I'm with them. Why not? Um, and I will just show you what it is that I'm making for breakfast. Look at this, I've got fluffy hair problems like permanently in case you hadn't got that out by now <laughs> from my other videos. But yeah, so let me just show you what I'm making. I'm actually going to take it with me because um, I don't know, I'm not exactly that hungry yet. Um, but So I've got some spinach and then here I've got some broccoli and I've just added like some turmeric, um, paprika, a little bit of curry powder and then here this is actually tofu so i bought a block of tofu and then it's really soft and you just like um mush it up basically and it's a bit like scrambled egg i'm just going to cook that with a little bit of fry light which is actually vegan look at that um, and i'm going to add some turmeric because i've been told that you add that and it kind of makes like a scrambled egg and then i've got um some corn cakes to go with that um so yeah normally um in the mornings as you've seen in my other videos um, I'll have my options hot chocolate with my coffee 
Um, but obviously I couldn't have that today because it's got milk in it, so I just had to do without. Um, so I'm having my coffee without it, which is a little bit sad, but oh well. Um, so yeah, um, I'll see you in the next clip, which will probably be lunchtime, and I'll show you what I'm having for lunch then. In case you're wondering, this is what the uh, final product looks like, by the way. That's the scrambled tofu. It actually, I'd taste it. It doesn't really actually taste of anything. It's a bit like watery, really. But yeah, um, so I just added some salt and that to hopefully give it a bit more flavour. So it's not too bad. Here are my little friendies. Little <laughs> park. Amazing. Yay. Hi, so the time is six o'clock and I am back from my day out at the theme park with my friend. It was really, really fun actually. Really had a really good day. Weather here was so warm today. It's like 27, 28 degrees. So really, really lovely. And I think I've got a bit of sun topping up my tan. Um, so I am gonna have something to eat. I'll show you what it is um, once I've made it. I'm just gonna make some more tofu with some vegetables and some barbecue sauce. And um, yeah, so I'll show you that and then I'll go to the gym and then I'll come back and I'll have some dinner and I think that is it for now so yes I'll show you this meal and then I'm gonna go to the gym okay so this is the final product I've got my tofu which I cooked with some turmeric and a little bit of paprika and some salt and pepper and my veggies which I cooked um, just added some salt and a little bit of curry powder actually to them just to give it a little bit of flavour. And then I have topped it all with some barbecue sauce. Um, and also my friends did tell me today you have to be careful with the barbecue sauces if you are vegan. Because apparently some of them have anchovy extract in them. So yeah, take note. But Heinz apparently is normally okay. So I am just back in from the gym. And I'm making my dinner. I'm making... Butternut squash spaghetti with um, a pasta sauce that's mushrooms, cannelloni beans, and it's made um, with canned tomatoes. I'm going to blend up, and inside of this, I have just added 10 grams of this pulsing unflavoured uh, rice protein. Uh, just to add some extra protein to the meal, and I'm going to add that to my cannelloni beans and mushroom mushrooms that are just cooking in here. So I will show you the end result when it's all put together. So this is the final product. I've um, got my butternut squash noodles there, which I just buy ready from the store or from the shop. Um, and then my bolognese, mock bolognese um, on the top with my mushrooms and then the cannelloni beans. Um, the rice protein, I don't know whether it's the rice protein or the beans, or, but it's kind of turned more into like a stew that I guess you could have with like rice, but it still tastes good. Um, so yeah, add rice protein and it does also say on the packet as well that you can add it to like soup and cereal and that kind of thing. So if you are a vegan struggling to get in protein, then just add a bit to like your soups or your, for example, bolognese, stews, anything like that. Um, so I'm just yes. making my final meal of the evening. 
Um, so in here, um, I'm ha making some oats. Um, this is like my pumpkin pie um, oat recipe that's actually on my Instagram, um, which is at Paris underscore Nicole. Um, if you're interested in the recipe, so in here I just have some oats. I've added some pumpkin puree, which you can buy in Sainsbury's and also in Whole Foods. You can also buy it on Amazon. Um, and then again, I have added some of the pulsing um, rice protein. And I'm going to add in some ground allspice and some cinnamon uh, and water and cook it in the microwave and then I will show you the final result. Okay, so here we have the final product. Um, so the rice protein, it does give it kind of like a quite a grainy texture because I did just try some. Um, and it's kind of a distinctive, like it's almost like adding sand. Um, I mean, it doesn't taste, it's not horrendous, but it, you know, I wouldn't choose it again, I don't think. Um, um, and also it does cook quite quickly. Like the oats are really, really thick. Um, you can see that that's like pretty thick. Um, and I did like stop it halfway through and like it cooks so much faster than like beef protein, which I normally use. Um, yeah, I had to stop it halfway through and add like more water. So it just adds like a lot of volume. So yeah, it does cook quite fast. Um, but yeah, other than that, I mean, it is unflavored as well. So I have had to add like my own, I've added like cinnamon. I've added um, some stevia. I've added um, one of, some of a couple of these gourmet caramel drops just to add some taste because it doesn't really taste anything but yeah this is my final meal um, and then I'm gonna go to sleep um, so that is my full day of vegan eating done and I will do a full review about my thoughts and opinions and tips Hello. today is Saturday the 30th of June um, so it has been three days since I did my full day of vegan eating so I thought I would just update you guys about that um so first of all huge respect to people that do go vegan um for whatever reason it is that you choose to go vegan um like it's so difficult to find products that are like completely vegan like salad dressings for example egg like why would you put egg like as a as a binder I know but but they're like small things like that that you wouldn't think that needs like non-vegan ingredients it has it um so yeah a lot of respect um to you guys um so the day after i woke up um i actually weighed in i think a whole pound more i was weighing in about 115.6 pounds and i'd been like 114 point something the day before um so yeah i like that evening after my dinner and after my um, oats before I went to bed I was feeling really really bloated it could have been from the rice protein that I used because um, I put that in the pasta sauce and also in my oats but yeah I was feeling super bloated um, and yeah then the next morning I weighed in obviously heavier than I think it was like my heaviest weigh in that week um, actually um, but then this morning I have a new low weigh in of 113.6 pounds so we are back to where we should be which is fine um, but yeah um, so, me personally, I that one day was enough for me to kind of have a, have an experience. Like, I don't know, maybe I will do a full week in the future just to see, like, as a lot of people say, like, the health benefits and that kind of thing of going vegan. Um, but do you know what? I was just feeling so bloated and that kind of thing. And I really missed my egg whites, like, my beef protein, um, like, whole eggs and that kind of thing. Um, so I don't know if I could go like full vegan, maybe vegetarian I could do. I could, cause you can know, I can use different proteins to beef protein and that kind of thing. But yeah, so it was a cool experience. I'm not sure I'm gonna be <laughs> rushing into doing it again, but it was really cool. And hopefully for anyone that is a vegan, um, I did give you maybe some ideas for food and that kind of thing. Um, and for those of you that, aren't vegan maybe even like oh cool maybe i'll give that a shot or not 
Um, but yeah, so I'll leave it at that. I'm gonna leave this vlog here. Um, so if you liked it, then please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, then leave a comment below or you can email me on paris at pmfitness.co.uk and I'm also on Instagram at paris underscore Nicole so you can drop me a message on there. And I'll see you in the next vlog.